Today I'm going to describe a running drill known as 100 up. Uh, this is a very old exercise that was actually invented by a former world record holder in the mile back in the early 20th century. Uh, it's made a comeback recently though and for good reason. Uh, it's a simple exercise and a very effective one for improving balance and strengthening some of the muscles in the lower legs and feet that don't really get much of a challenge when you're running normally. So this exercise is basically a slow motion running in place. Uh, here's how you do it. So start by bending your right knee and lifting it up to hip level. At the same time, bend your left arm, so you're positioned just as you would be when running normally. Now you're gonna take a hop step, so lower your right foot to the ground, but just before it touches down, reverse your position, bending the left knee, lifting that to hip level, and bending your right arm at the same time. Now stay on the ball of your foot. Don't let your foot come fully to rest on the ground. That's what makes this exercise a little challenging and beneficial. The reason the exercise is called 100 up is that you're supposed to do this 100 times, so alternating slow running in place. You want to pause for about a second, second and a half. If you can't get to 100 and you won't the first time you do it, whenever you stumble or lose balance or need a pause, do so and then just pick up where you left off. I like to do this exercise just whenever I can fit it in. You don't necessarily have to put it in, in the context of a strength workout at the gym. If I'm stuck in a hotel room and I can't get to a gym, can't fit in a normal workout, I'll do a set of 100 ups while I'm catching up on email or what have you. Just a little ancillary drill that uh, will supplement the training you're already doing and give you a nice functional strength benefit and also some balancing. So you've probably heard about something called plyometrics or maybe even do it. Plyometrics is a fancy word that means jumping exercises. Jumping exercises or plyometrics are a really good thing for runners to do because it's proven to improve what's known as the stiffness of the leg. The leg functions as a kind of spring and a stiffer spring is more efficient. It captures and reuses more energy from impact with the ground. So plyometrics sh should be a part of your regular strength workouts, but it's not necessarily something you have to make extra time to do. I like to do a simple functional uh, plyometrics exercise called single leg running, which is just that, also known as bounding. So James, just start hopping on one leg, running forward at a normal running speed, but not letting that right leg come down and count maybe to 20. If you can get to 30, that would be even better. And then once you've gotten up to however many jumps you uh, intend to do on the right foot, switch over to the left and do an equal number on that side. And then just, just go right back into your easy run. You've included plyometrics in your easy run without having to make any extra time for it. And you'll get that functional benefit of increased leg stiffness, which will enhance your running economy. Efficiency is very important to uh, effective running. And how do you become a more efficient runner? A big part of it, and a part that's not understood by a lot of runners, is developing the ability for muscles to relax when muscles on the opposite side of a particular joint are working. Take your thighs, for example. When your thigh muscles are working, the muscles on the opposite side, the hamstrings, need to be able to relax. And there are certain types of mobility exercises you can do to improve that capacity. One of them is what I call the uh, zombie walk, or goose step if you prefer. So what you're going to do is walk forward at a normal, deliberate pace, Keep your legs completely straight, lock out your knees, and lift your toe as high in front of you as you can. Common mistakes that you want to avoid when doing this, arching your back backwards, and also hunching forward. That's a way of cheating as well that you'll want to avoid. So keep a nice neutral spine and just lift your leg as high as you can. If you have tight ha hamstrings, that won't necessarily be all that high, but if you do this exercise with some regularity, you will improve and you'll start to feel your hamstrings just be able to relax and allow the muscles on the front of your legs, the quads, to do their work unimpeded by internal resistance from your own muscles. This will make you a more efficient runner. <music>